All right, so this is our, our architecture we're gonna go in. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this ignition gateway. And you can see here, here's my ignition designer. And I've got a whole bunch of different tag providers. We do demos for uh, smart oil and gas, smart building, uh, smart factory. But we're gonna go into engine uh, very quickly here and show that, that example that I showed in the PowerPoint drawing. So we're gonna go into our Kansas City ABB devices, ABB, oops, sorry, not ABB, uh, Rock. And we're gonna go into our KC Rock Edge, Flow Boss 107. Now what happened is, is that this is a flow computer that I have in my office, I'm no longer in Kansas City, but that's okay. But what happened is that that Ignition Edge published an instance of the UDT that defined that flow boss 107 meter. So now me as a, as a enterprise, I didn't have to know a thing about that. That UDT came in and now I've got the ability to leverage that since this is object oriented and quickly create a very complex dashboard that I can immediately visualize this the slow computer and say, okay, well, here's that, that nebulous thing called orifice material. And now I see it's stainless steel and pipe material. Now, of course, with ignition, I can turn on command and control and I could publish a value and say, well, we'd like to change that from stainless steel to Monel and so on and so forth. So that's one example of how we're leveraging UDTs and the UNS. So we'll get out of design mode here and what we'll do now is let's go into our smart factory tag provider. And here we show the notion of a smart factory. And in that smart factory, I've got some lines, a conveyor, a haul off, a CNC machine. And down here, I've got the notion of an extruder. Now, what we've been doing is we've been taking all of these process variables and kind of throwing them into a data lake. Now, there's no problem there except now, how am I going to contextualize this data? So if I see this 145 degree C here, when I pull that up in my cloud application, I want to immediately know that came from Smart Factory 1, Line 7, Extruder 7, Melt Temperature. So what we're going to do is instead of throwing data into a data lake without context, we're going to go in and define the UDT that says, this is my extruder. And at the top level, I want some asset information. So I may want asset ID, asset serial number, location, and then I can start going into my process variables and for that melt temperature, say that that is a degree C and it's zero to 255, 225. I know my dead banding. So all of this contextual information I need to be able to get to my cloud applications. So now not only can I, again, just like this, is we can start you know, designing our components and say, well, that, that looks like my extruder and it's feeding into a bunker where the parts are coming out and feeding into a CO2 dryer. And now I've got all of this contextual single source of truth information following my kind of like my UNS here from my smart factory down to my lines, down to my equipment. Now, what I wanna do is how hard would it be for me to take that in this example into Snowflake to where I could start leveraging that immediately. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and look at our Snowflake console. Now, completely different uh, webinar, but Snowflake is basically a managed SQL platform in the cloud, and it has an SQL database that we can populate remotely using MQTT and our IoT bridge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, look at my transmitters, go to my smart factory and say, hey, smart factory, I want that tag provider to publish all of the models and all of my UNS to Snowflake. So I've defined that, I've turned it on, go in, enable MQTT, and save it. And what happened is we just established a outbound secure connection with no ports open to an MQTT server where IoT Bridge for Snowflake was quiescently sitting there 
saw spark plug messages start flowing, looked into Snowflake and is starting to insert our models and all of our real-time data into a simple SQL table. So we're gonna go back to Snowflake. One minute ago, we didn't know anything about a smart factory. We're gonna refresh and our entire smart factory just showed up. And because we're using the unified namespace, we immediately can look at our extruder. But before we do that, we can look at a view and say, what models did you learn? Oh, I learned that I have an extruder and a chiller and a dryer. So I can go up here to my extruder as of view, do a simple SQL query, and there's all of my real-time information with all of the context, with all of the information from the UDT showing up in real time in a standard SQL table. So again, that's showing the power of how to apply UNS and UDTs with zero coding to go into cloud applications.